Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the stage lighting project. Uh, the stage lighting project is the result of a request from the theater faculty um, to help the students uh, with the diagnosis skills. Uh, they need the skills to be able to diagnose um, problems in a stage lighting situation. Um, you know, basically, so if the stage light doesn't work, uh, they know how to diagnose the problem and fix it. Uh, so I created this simulation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Um, and as I load it up, uh, we're here in the light booth. This is this is what the light engineers would see. Um, there are 36 lights that light this stage, and there are 24 uh, light channels. And each light has a potential of six possible problems. Um, so every time this activity is loaded, a different scenario can occur. Uh, there's a total of over 5,000. So uh, the student has exactly 10 minutes to go through and check each light in the house to determine whether or not it's a problem, um, find that light, and then fix the problem uh, before the 10 minutes run out. And if they don't, then they get fired. Um, so what they have to do, they have to start by uh, turning on every single light in the house and checking to see whether or not it works. Sometimes there are two lights at attached to each channel, so if a problem doesn't appear to be um, present when you go through and do your first run, it's probably because two lights are supposed to be tied to one channel and uh, uh, that might be missing. So once the student finds what, what the problem is, then they have to use their lighting plot as a reference. Now this is actually a um, two by three sheet of paper that the lighting engineers keep with them. Uh, it shows the locations of the light and it also shows how they are connected to the electrical and computer systems within the theater. Um, the students can use this as a reference guide um, to find out, you know, once they find the problem, where is it. Um, then we can go over here. This allows the students to jump virtually to a different part of the theater so that they can actually go and physically inspect a light. So we're going to actually jump into the catwalk. Um, and I'll click on a light so that you can see how that works. All they have to do is roll their mouse over the lights and the light lights up, um, so to speak, with the unit number. If we click it, then our light object loads. Now our light object loads and it shows the light from the side so that the students can inspect the filament to determine whether or not that's the problem. Uh, it also shows the back view of the light. Um, the students can open and close the barn doors because the barn doors being open and closed might prevent the light from coming through. Um, they can also check the electrical connection. Um, first of all, making sure that it is connected and then if it is connected and the light's still not working, then they can simply plug the light into the, te into the check tool to test whether or not it is getting electricity. Now, each light has its own memory. So as I go about the theater and check these lights for problems, if I leave these two un unplugged or if I leave the barn doors closed or if I fail to put a light bulb in, um, that creates a problem where there wasn't a problem before. So I have to pick up after myself, um, otherwise uh, things can only get worse. Uh, I can also jump out to uh, the breaker room if the problem uh, appears to be related to one of the bre breakers being tripped, we can jump to the breaker room and uh, just simply flip the breaker and then go back to the theater to test the problem. Now last but not least, we're going to jump to uh, backstage. We're going to jump behind the set and what the students have to do uh, here is um, they're, they're behind the set right now. What they have to do is lower a light rig that appears here. Now they're, they're familiar with this theater because it's an exact replica of the theater that they that they work in on a daily basis. Um, they have to lower a light rig that appears right here and the way that they do that they have to come over here and they have to grab this rope and pull this rope down and as they pull the rope down the light rig lowers so that they can actually reach the instruments. They can move over to the light rig. Here's the light rig and then they click on the individual instrument and then a new light object loads up with the properties for that particular light. So that's a quick tour of the lighting project. If you have questions or if you have comments or if you know of other ways that it can be reused, please give me a contact. So that's a quick demonstration of the lighting project. Uh, if you have questions 
or if you know of other ways that it can be reused, please don't hesitate to contact me. My information is on uh, the main blog page. Thanks a lot.